So what I have here in, these, in this bucket is uh, some Alaskan black cod, which is known in some parts of the country as sable fish. It's the same fish, but it is fabulously delicious. And the reason I have this is A, my local Costco has it at a ridiculously cheap price, and B, I am on an eternal quest for barbecued cod, which is, used to be available in some West Coast delis. It was this bright red brick of a sort of smoked fish. It wasn't like lox because it was fully cooked, but it was extremely moist and delicious and bright red color. Nobody makes it anymore. The cod has become too expensive. And my understanding is that the smoke houses in uh, LA uh, where this stuff was made uh, have been shut down because of air pollution regulations. I don't know if that's true. So I've, tried, I've been trying to make my own and I can't make it exactly the same as that, but I can come close. So one thing I've done is I bought the entire whole Alaskan black cod, and they're not very big. They're only probably about a foot or 18 inches long, the ones that I see in the market. I cut it into pieces and I put it in this brine solution. In this brine solution, it's basically about a gallon of water. It actually, I take it back, it looks like it's a gallon now because all the fish is in it. It was two quarts of water with a quarter cup each, kosher salt and sugar. Okay, one quarter cup to two quarts of water. I cut the fish into nice chunks and I put a plate over it so it would not float. You want to keep it fully submerged at all times. I've had this brining overnight and now I'm going to take it out and you can see some of the pieces are a little bit odd shaped. But I'm going to take it and I'm going to let this air dry on a rack for another full day. I'm not going to rinse it because I want the salt water and sugar brine to stay on the outside of the fish and actually harden into a kind of skin which will make the fish taste much much better when we smoke it. So we've brined it overnight, we're going to let it dry overnight, and then we're going to come back tomorrow and smoke it in my lovely little electric smoker. It's not going to come out bright red the way the traditional stuff in the deli used to, but it will come up with a lovely smoke color and a lovely smoke flavor, and you're going to find this is one of the best fishes to put on a bagel or even eat as a dinner anywhere. Come back tomorrow and we'll smoke it up.